Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining our virtual town hall tonight. Um, my name is Dr. Pereira, and I have the pleasure and honor of serving as superintendent here in the Gresham Barlow School District. Um, again, thank you for joining us tonight. Tonight, we I believe we're having some challenges with the superintendent's audio. So Deputy Superintendent James Hugh, would you like to begin until we can get the superintendent's audio back up and running? Yes, thank you. Good evening, everybody. Uh, James Hugh, Deputy Superintendent. Thank you for joining us this evening for our virtual town hall. Uh, tonight, we have uh, Dr. Pereira, uh, Lieutenant John Rasmussen from the Gresham PD, Assistant Superintendent Lisa Riggs, Executive Director of K-12 Education, John Cook, Director of English Language Learner Program, <laughs> Karina Brusesi, and Communications Director, Athena Vadness. Buenas noches a todos y bienvenidos. Gracias por venir a nuestra reunión. Eh, tenemos, estamos teniendo unos problemas uh, de tecnología y la doctora Carrera regresará cuando pueda. Pero tenemos el placer de tener a nuestro equipo uh, del distrito, el uh, superintendente asistente James Hugh, John Rasmussen de la policía de, Gresh, de Gresham, la asistente superintendente Lisa Riggs, el director ejecutivo John Cook, la directora de comunicaciones, Tina Vadness. Yo soy Karina Brucese, la directora de los programas de inglés como segundo idioma, y también serviré para interpretar esta noche. Across the country, safety and security are paramount for every school district, and GBSD is no different. This community passed a $3 million capital bond in 2016 that afforded us the opportunity to improve the safety and security of our facilities. En todo el país, la seguridad y la protección son primordiales para cada estudiante, para cada distrito escolar. Y nuestro distrito no es diferente. Esta comunidad aprobó un bono de capital de 300 millones en 2016 que nos brindó la oportunidad de mejorar la seguridad de nuestras escuelas e instalaciones. I will openly state that safety and security is more of a priority than instruction because no student can fully learn or reach their potential if they do not feel safe, cared for, seen, or like they belong, which are the basic human needs of Maslow's hierarchy. Como superintendente, declararé que la seguridad y la protección son aún más importantes que la instrucción, porque ningún estudiante puede aprender completamente o alcanzar su potencial si no se siente seguro, cuidado, visto o como un miembro perteneciente en su escuela. Esas son necesidades humanas básicas, explicadas en la jerarquía de necesidades de Maslow. According to the U.S. Department of Education data in 2015-16, about 31% of students arrested in public school grounds or after a school official reported to police were students of color. Según datos del Departamento de Educación de los Estados Unidos, en 2015-16, alrededor del 31% de los estudiantes arrestados en terrenos escolares públicos o quienes fueron denunciados a la policía por un funcionario escolar eran estudiantes de color. A recent survey of students in school districts also found that just 40% of students of color say they feel safer in the presence of police versus 69% of white students. Una encuesta reciente de estudiantes en distritos escolares también encontró que solo el 40% de los estudiantes de color dicen que se sienten más seguros en presencia de la policía 
en comparación con el 69% de los estudiantes blancos. Thus, many communities are demanding that school districts review and assess the safety and security of their schools, especially specifically for school resource officers. Por lo tanto, muchas comunidades están exigiendo que los distritos escolares revisen y evalúen la seguridad y protección de sus escuelas, específicamente los policías asignados a las escuelas. So through the town hall today and additional input sessions, we will follow which will be highlighted during this program. Entonces, a través de la reunión de hoy y otras sesiones, vamos a tratar este tema. The Gresham Barlow School Board staff and leadership team believes. Gresham Barlow, la junta del personal y el equipo de liderazgo creen que involucrar a nuestra comunidad sería lo mejor para que podamos asegurarnos de recopilar opiniones y comentarios para ayudar a evaluar la seguridad y protección de GBSD. Is James out? Okay. Um, <clears throat> for whatever reason, we're having trouble with sound. I will finish his presentation, his and Dr. Pereira's. Again, our goal is that we specifically want your input feedback, or input and feedback, so that we evaluate, review, and improve our school resource officer programs and to assess if we are reinforcing systemic discrimination, biases, disproportionality, and or misrepresented students of color, et cetera, in our schools. The initial program in the Gresham Barlow School District began like many across the nation. It began as mentorship to strengthen campus security and educating students on school safety. However, nationally, SROs have increasingly been put into roles that serve as school disciplinarians with the ability to make official arrests similar to local police that may disproportionately impact students of color. Let's give Karina a moment. There, I have, there's a pause in there for me. Thank um, you. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Nuestro, Karina, go ahead. nuestro objetivo es que mm -hmm. deseamos específicamente, el programa inicial en Gresham Barlow comenzó como muchos otros en todo el país. Comenzó como tutoría para fortalecer la seguridad del campus y educar a los estudiantes sobre la seguridad escolar. Sin embargo, al nivel nacional, los policías asignados a las escuelas o SROs se han asignado cada vez más a más roles para servir como disciplinarios escolares con la capacidad de realizar arrestos oficiales similares a los de la policía local que pueden afectar desproporcionadamente a los estudiantes de color. We have experienced similar situations here in GBSD to which we have tried to be proactive via professional development for staff and GPD with the SRO program. Hemos tenido situaciones similares aquí en el distrito de Gresham Barlow a las que hemos tratado de ser proactivos a través del desarrollo profesional para el personal y la policía con el programa de estudiantes asignados a las escuelas. To determine next steps, and in addition to your feedback, you will learn that we have evaluated the safety and security of our school district for a number of years, and each year since Superintendent Pereira has arrived in the GBSD. We have held town halls, key communicator sessions, etc. Our board of directors uh, requests that we begin looking, or we begin to look specifically at how we could improve our SRO program last fall. We began that process and have hosted the GPD SRO supervisor and other representatives during school board meetings and twice just in the past school year. Para determinar los próximos pasos y además de sus comentarios, sabrá que hemos evaluado la seguridad y protección de nuestro distrito escolar durante varios años y cada año desde que, desde que llegó la, directo, la superintendente Pereira. Hemos realizado ayuntamientos, sesiones de comunicadores claves, etcétera, etcétera. Nuestra junta directiva escolar solicitó que comenzaremos a analizar específicamente cómo podríamos mejorar nuestros programas de policía asignada a las escuelas o SROs el otoño pasado. Comenzamos ese proceso y hemos recibido al supervisor de policía de Gresham y a otros representantes durante las reuniones de la junta y dos veces más este año escolar pasado. John, let me take this ending. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. I kept getting kicked out of the system. Um, and I'll just close with this. Um, tonight, um, we ask 
that we all review our SRO program with an open mind and not rely on the national data, nor what P Portland Public or any other school district is doing. The final recommendations of this program and feedback will go to our board uh, and their decision will be based on the collected information and by centering the input of students of color voices. Esta noche pedimos que revisemos nuestro programa de policía asignada a las escuelas o SROs con una mente abierta. No dependamos de los datos nacionales o de lo que Portland Public o cualquier otro distrito escolar haya hecho. Las recomendaciones finales y les, la decisión de la Junta se basarán en la información recopilada y al centrar la opinión de nuestros estudiantes y de voces de color. Next slide is the agenda. And again, tonight we will review the purpose of this review. We will share um, and explain participant groups that we've had in the past uh, through a timeline and also um, our focus, how, how GBSD is focused on safety and our school SROs um, roles. And with that, I'll turn it back over to John. Thank you for pitch hitting as I had technical difficulties, John. Okay, James as well. And Karina, did you want to translate that piece? Yeah, I'll be glad to do that. Okay. La seguridad y la protección son nuestra prioridad. Y esta noche repasaremos uh, los programas, la seguridad del distrito, nuestras escuelas, las revisiones regulares de programa, um, y todos los detalles acerca de las policías asignadas a las escuelas. Safety and security of our students and families is always at the forefront. Our community reaffirmed this with the passage of a $300 million bond in 2016 that enhanced security in all of our schools. Regular program reviews are also part of our work and similar to many districts in the country, we're reviewing our school resource officer program. La seguridad y la protección con, son nuestra prioridad. Nuestra comunidad reafirmó esto con la aprobación del bono de 300 millones de dólares que mejoró la seguridad en todas nuestras escuelas. Las revisiones regulares de programas son parte de nuestro trabajo y como muchos distritos en el país, estamos revisando nuestro programa de policías asignados a la escuela o SROs. In the, in the past, we have used the in-person town hall format to engage with the community regarding school safety and security. There was also substantial community engagement focused on many things, including safety and security when preparing for the bond. Over the years, our superintendent has also used key communicator groups to gather information. At the building level, principal discussion about safety and security have also have occurred also. En el pasado, hemos usado el formato de ayuntamientos en persona para involucrar a la comunidad con respecto a la seguridad escolar. También hubo participación sustancial de la comunidad, incluido la seguridad y la protección durante la preparación para el bono escolar. A lo largo de los años, Nuestros superintendentes también han utilizado grupos de comunicadores clave para recopilar información sobre seguridad y protección. En las escuelas también hemos tenido discusiones sobre seguridad y protección. What you see on the screen is the participating group so far. Uh, the, our, we opened this discussion on December 4th when we first emailed, emailed out a link to the Thought Exchange. And, there have been, since then, there have been just over 2,000 participants. 65%, 1,279 have been students. 23%, 454 parents and guardians. 10%, 196 people have been staff members. And about 2% are community members. Esos son los grupos que han participado en este proceso hasta este momento. El proceso comenzó el 4 de diciembre, este lunes, cuando primero enviamos el enlace para Thought Exchange, el intercambio. Hasta ahora han habido un, po un poquito más que 2,000 participantes. 65% de ellos, o 1,279, de los participantes han sido estudiantes. 23% han sido padres o tutores. 10% han sido empleados de nuestro distrito. Y un 2% han sido miembros de nuestra comunidad. Through the month of January, we plan to continue to engage with Superintendent Prayer's key communicator groups and student and student advisory group. Durante el mes de enero, seguiremos reuniéndonos virtualmente con grupos de, de la comunidad clave del Superintendente Pereira, los grupos de asesoramiento estudiantil, los grupos de negociaciones negociantes locales y nuestra comunidad. 
The roles and responsibilities of our school resource officers are focused on education, health and wellness, safety, criminal behaviors, and to act as a liaison with the Gresham Police Department. Los roles y responsabilidades de nuestras policías asignadas a las escuelas se enfocan en la educación, salud y bienestar, seguridad, comportamientos um, criminales y actuar como enlace con el policía de Gresham Barlow. Okay, and it is now time to hear your thoughts and questions about the school resource officer program. We will begin with a thought exchange survey and online discussion designed to help us learn who is participating in the discussion, how participants have interacted with school resource officers in the past, and the frequency of those interactions, and what people think about the role of school resource officers. Ahora es el momento de escuchar sus pensamientos y preguntas sobre el programa de policías asignados a la escuela, o SROs. Comenzaremos con una encuesta de Thought Exchange y una discusión en línea diseñada para ayudarnos a aprender quién está participando en la discusión, cómo los participantes han interactuado con los policías asignados a la escuela en el pasado y la frecuencia de esas interacciones, lo que la gente piensa sobre el papel de los policías asignados a la escuela. The survey is in English and Spanish. Once you enter the Thought Exchange system, if you need to see the survey and questions in Spanish, when you move from the exchange screen to the introduction screen, you will notice a small pink arrow. Click that arrow and a choice for Spanish will appear. Uh, para aquellos que lo necesitan ver la encuesta y las preguntas en español, en la pantalla de la introducción notarán una pequeña señal rosa que aquí está indicada con una flecha. Si um, haga, hacen clic en esa flecha, pueden ver todo el proceso en español. Lo pueden cambiar de inglés a español. Desde allí en adelante podrán ver todas las respuestas y todos los comentarios de otros en español. Por supuesto, ustedes pueden escribir su comentario en español y las personas quienes leen en inglés lo pueden traducir a inglés. Our thought exchange question is, what are your thoughts on the role of resource officers in school? Nuestra pregunta de que van a responder es, ¿qué piensas sobre el papel de los policías asignados a las escuelas en nuestras escuelas? In just a moment, I'm going to help you enter into the thought exchange system. But first, I want to tell you a little bit about it. We are going to be using a crowdsourcing platform called Thought Exchange. It has three steps. Share, where you get to share your thoughts independently and anonymously. The star step, where you rate the thoughts of others. And discover, where we will get to see what is important to the group. Vamos a utilizar una plataforma de contratación colectiva llamada Thought Exchange para recopilar sus comentarios. Un Thought Exchange tiene tres pasos. Compartir, en el que pueden compartir sus pensamientos de forma independiente y anónima. El paso de estrella, en el que califica los pensamientos de los demás. Y últimamente, descubrimiento, donde todos podemos ver lo que es más importante para el grupo. In a moment, you will be able to participate and a QR code will appear on the screen, or you can use the web page that will also appear. So make sure you get out your devices, your um, cell phone or your iPad and turn on your camera. You do not need to download a Thought Exchange app or sign up in order to participate. Once you are in the exchange, you will see some survey questions that should take a minute or two to answer. Each question requires an answer but there are also options in the list of questions, such as, I prefer not to answer. So select that if you feel it's necessary. En un momento, podrán participar. Va a aparecer un código de QR en la pantalla y también colocaré un enlace de la red en el chat de video. Uh, pueden tener su teléfono o otro tipo de... Um, de computadora lista para poder accesar el Thought Exchange. No es necesario descargar una aplicación de Thought Exchange o registrarse para participar. Una vez que esté en el intercambio, verá algunas preguntas de la encuesta que le llevarán un par de minutos para responder. Cada pregunta requiere una respuesta, 
pero también hay opciones en la lista de respuestas como prefiero no responder que usted puede usar si le parece apropiado. So after completing the survey, that's about six or seven questions, then go into thought exchange and share one to two thoughts, then rate at least 15 to 20 thoughts or more if you can of other people's thoughts based on how much you agree. Now five stars means you strongly agree and one star means you do not agree and I encourage you to full use the full range of stars to best reflect the group's priorities. Después de responder a las preguntas al principio que son como seis o siete preguntas por favor compartan uno o dos pensamientos luego califiquen al menos 15 a 20 o más si puede pensamientos de otros. Los pensamientos de otras personas según su grado de acuerdo. Le puede dar un 5 si está totalmente de acuerdo con ese pensamiento de la otra persona. Un 1 si está totalmente en desacuerdo. Les animo a que utilicen toda la gama de estrellas de 1, 2, 3, 4 o 5 para reflejar mejor las prioridades del grupo. Ok, here we go. Remember, this is a confidential process. So your identity will not be known or associated with the thoughts or how you star. Estamos por comenzar. Recuerden que este es un proceso confidencial y su identidad no será conocida ni asociada con sus pensamientos o sus calificaciones con estrellas. Athena, did you remind everyone that we had this open from the emails? Yes. Uh, Please remember that we sent out the thought exchange link on December 4th. So, so far we have 2,089 participants and 2,300 thoughts. Recuerden que ya hemos um, compartido este enlace y por eso tuvimos ya 2,000, más de 2,000 participantes y 2,300 pensamientos ya en el sistema. So, to enter the thought exchange discussion, and remember there are some survey questions to begin with, you can either take your smartphone or an iPad and scan the QR code there to get into the thought dis exchange discussion or go to tjoin.com. That's a website and then put in 508-976-029. Para participar, puede usar su teléfono o un iPad para um, leer el código que usted ve a la izquierda con todos los puntitos y eso le dará acceso. Si no puede usar su teléfono o un iPad, para hacerlo de esa manera, puede abrir una página de tejoin.com y cuando la página abre, por favor entre el código 508-976-029 y allí estará en el programa y puede compartir sus pensamientos. Ok, we are going to closely watch the number of participants because I know that currently you are filling out the survey questions and then you will go into the thought exchange discussion question. What are your thoughts on the role of school resource officers in our schools? Vamos a estar mirando los números de participantes. Sabemos que ahora están comenzando con responder a las preguntas que están al principio y pronto podrán entrar sus comentarios y también poner estrellas a otro comentario acerca del rol de los policías asignados a las escuelas. And again, we will review our top um, five or 10 of these and the rest um, we may or may not get to because I want to be able to have some live questioning as well. Repasaremos los um, comentarios que tienen los puntajes más altos, los primeros cinco a diez. No repasaremos a todos porque queremos asegurar que tenemos tiempo para sus preguntas.
Okay, as we wait for participants to be queued up into the Thought Exchange program, I do want to remind you in order to get into the program, uh, first you will have to scan in this QR code, or you can go to tjoin.com and put in the numbers 508 976 029. And you will have a list of survey questions so we can get some important demographic data uh, before we go into the thought exchange questions. So please fill out those survey questions. And once you get done filling out all of those questions, you'll be able to go into the thought exchange discussion to answer that question that you see on the screen. Para recordarle, puede usar el código a la izquierda con todos los puntitos para leerlo con su teléfono o con su iPad para entrar al Thought Exchange. Si prefiere hacerlo con su computadora, puede poner tejoin.com y una vez que se abre esa página, entrar el código 508-976-029 y una vez que está ahí, puede responder a las preguntas al principio y luego comenzar a entrar sus comentarios. Coming down to about the one minute warning here. It's a heads up, time alert for everyone. If you have not rated any of the entries, please do so. Nos queda más o menos un minuto. Si no han tenido la oportunidad de entrar sus comentarios o dar estrellas a otros comentarios, por favor, hágalo ahora. Okay, we're about 30 seconds left. And um, soon we will be looking at the top thoughts thus far. And just a reminder, you'll be able to participate in this thought exchange online discussion through December 14th. Uh, so if you want to do it tomorrow or the next day, if that would work better for you, we will also be sending out um, email reminders and auto dialer calls just to remind everyone um, that the thought exchange process is still open and available. Quedan más o menos 30 segundos. Les quiero recordar que va a tener la oportunidad de seguir participando en este proceso después de que termine esta reunión. Lo puede hacer en línea y vamos a mandar uh, varios recordatorios. Primero vamos a repasar los comentarios que tienen el más alto puntaje. Okay, now we're going to take a look at some of the top thoughts and discuss them with our panelists. So we have first, uh, build positive relationships with police and law enforcement. Students need to see law enforcement as real people and in a positive atmosphere. Primero, lo que sale es poder hacer um, relaciones positivas con policías y todos de la ley, porque los estudiantes necesitan ver a los policías como personas de verdad y tener un, una atmósfera positiva. John or James, you want to share a little bit about how we are building relationships with police and law enforcement, our students? James, you want me, are you on? Yeah, I'm on. Um, one of the ways in which uh, Russian Police Department uh, works to build relationships with our students is um, the every 15 minute program uh, in the spring every year prior to our uh, proms where uh, it's a partnership between Gresham PD and the school district, and they work and try to provide some support for uh, drinking and driving and making sure that students are being safe. Uh, they provide presentations 
kids in our in our classrooms, uh, in our schools, and they present into the classrooms. Uh, they present with counselors. They present in 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 different um, environments uh, within the school, whether it's drug and alcohol education or um, other types of uh, law enforcement cases. Una manera en que uh, tratamos de formar uh, una relación positiva entre la policía y los estudiantes es el programa de cada 15 minutos en el cual los policías participan en informar a los estudiantes acerca de uh, los problemas que pueden ocurrir cuando uno um, bebe alcohol y maneja y participan con los consejeros y con los estudiantes en actividades para ayudarles a los estudiantes con eso. Okay, let's go to the next thought. Teachers already have a ton on their plate. SROs can help kids and have resources that teachers may not know about. Las maestras y los maestros ya tienen mucho que hacer y a veces los policías asignados a las escuelas pueden ayudar a los estudiantes con recursos de los cuales las maestras um, no están informadas. John. Yep. Um, just like other programs, SUN and many of our after school programs, each group that we work with ends up bringing lists of resources that they have available from their purview that can always help kids and teachers um, do better is how it is. So yes, they do have, a, teachers do have a ton on their plate and SROs do bring resources that can we can use. Al igual a otros programas, como los programas del fin del día de SUN, todos los otros programas um, que colaboran con las escuelas traen recursos que hay veces las maestros no tienen durante el día. Okay, up next, community builders. They should strengthen the relationships between the community and the school. Um, armar y um, establecer la comunidad. Los SROs deben de um, reforzar el bienestar entre la comunidad y la asociación entre la escuela y la comunidad. I'll leave that in. Mm -hmm. Did you send that to Lisa? I couldn't, I interrupted yes, you. John or John, John Cook or John, John Rasmussen? Yeah, Mr. Lieutenant Rasmussen, how about you? Yeah, uh, so our SROs do a lot to build community relationships. Um, I know that uh, Superintendent Hugh, or Assistant Superintendent Hugh mentioned some. Some of the other things that we do is uh, we deliver food boxes. Um, we're yeah, doing challenge days, kindness matters. Um, helping sixth graders open lockers and just really working with kids in the hallways in the classroom. Another way that we um, help build and strengthen relationships um, is through how the you know, SROs interact with the kids. And I'll give an example after uh, it's translated. Uh, no, nosotros um, armamos relaciones con nuestros estudiantes y la comunidad en varias maneras. Um, ayudamos con um, dar y llevar cajas de comida a, a familias de necesidad. Ayudamos a los estudiantes en los pasillos de la escuela. Por ejemplo, los estudiantes de sexto grado durante la primera semana de escuela, ayudando a los que abran sus lockers cuando no pueden y estar en los pasillos para conversar y formar relaciones con nuestros estudiantes. One of those ways is we recently had some youth involved in some criminal behavior. Had that gone to a road patrol officer, it might look very different. Instead, it went to one of the Gresham Barlow resource officers, and he is working with those youth to rebuild the relationship with the neighbors that they damaged by stealing and breaking into the homes. Um, un ejemplo reciente es que hace poco algunos jóvenes del distrito uh, estuvieron involucrados en unos actos criminales, pero en este caso, en vez de responder los, policia los policías de Gresham típicos, como um, respondió un policía que es policía asignado a la escuela, esa persona pudo, pudo trabajar con los estudiantes para tratar de reparar la relación entre el vecino quienes, uh, a quienes le habían robado y dañado y los estudiantes en una manera que no involucró um, la policía en completo. All right, we will go to our next thought. Having resource officers in school is important and useful. I believe the officers serve to help and support students at school. They work to help keep the environment safe. Tener policías asignados a las escuelas es importante y tiene uso. Yo pienso que los policías asignados a las escuelas 
ayudan y apoyan a los estudiantes y trabajan para mantener a todos sanos y seguros. I'll take that. Uh, it is, many people, as, as we start to review the, the thoughts coming in, agree with this statement, uh, kids included, um, that being able to keep the environment safe and make connections with them seems to be important. Uh, I also know that just from that lens of supporting schools, the number of times we use officers for threats, et cetera, to address those in a productive way um, is important as well. Um, you know, let me also add that our school resource officers also provide a lot of support at uh, after school and evening functions within the, within the school at dances and at games and things of that nature. Nuestros policías asignados a las escuelas apoyan no solamente durante el día escolar, pero también en funciones escolares, como actividades después de las escuelas, los bailes de las escuelas y um, actividades deportivas. I think maybe a couple more and then we should move on to the live Q&A. Okay. Here's another one. I think the school resource officers in schools are needed. Not only does it keep our children safe, it also creates a connection between police and schools. Not all kids know that police are good. The officer could be the only good role model in some students' lives and over time can make, and it looks like they ran out of room. There is a word limit, so, um, but thank you for sharing that thought. Uh, pienso que los policías asignados a las escuelas son necesarios, nos ayudan a mantener a los estudiantes seguros y también ayudan a hacer conexiones entre la policía y las escuelas. No todos estudiantes reconocen que los policías son buenos y un policía puede ser un buen, uh, un buen ejemplo o modelo para la vida de algunos estudiantes. John, you want to take that or you want me to? Yeah, I can definitely uh, talk to that. Um, you know, a lot of this is about relationship and that's really what the SROs thrive in is building a relationship. Some ways that we keep youth safe um, are, and we don't talk about it a lot. Uh, you may not hear about certain threats, but there are the threats, but there's also other ways. Uh, they are uh, specialized in human, human trafficking and the exploitation of children. They work to mind the gap um, for students who fall through the cracks, um, particularly underrepresented students. And I know that's not, uh, that some students and families don't like SROs there. I fully uh, appreciate that. And that's something that we are working on, but we are focused uh, on safety and relationship like this person's talking about. And so it's encouraging to me to, to see that that's important because that's important to us. Las relaciones son lo más importante. Los uh, policías asignados a las escuelas tienen varios roles. Una cosa que a veces no escuchan mucho es cuando hay algún tipo de amenaza en la escuela, alguna situación a uh, la cual el policía puede resolver uh, sin mucha publicidad. Y también um, se están involucrados en situaciones teniendo que ver con um, acosos y situaciones que hay veces um, no, de las cuales no se entera el público. Es bueno saber que um, hay estos comentarios que consideran a los policías asignados a las escuelas como positivos. And our final thought exchange thought, uh, the role of the, the security resource officer is to assist in times of trouble and to keep kids accountable. accountable. First off, let's not forget what happened at Reynolds High School and they talk about the various things that they believe school resource officers help keep to a minimum. El rol de los policías asignados a las escuelas es ayudar en situaciones de emergencia y ayudar a los que los, a que los estudiantes hagan lo que necesitan hacer. No queremos olvidarnos lo que ocurrió en el distrito de Reynolds. Uh, también tenemos que pensar en situaciones uh, de drogas, acosos sexuales, y otros tipos de acoso para mantenerlos al mismo. And John, I can answer this too. Those are all things that the resource officers do have to deal with. Um, we have a growing drug issue, but they also have the resources on the back end to try to keep those kids out of the judicial system by working with outside programming and inside programming. 
As far as the school shooting threats, I was one of many resource officers who were uh, on scene very quickly during that Reynolds High School shooting. Um, and it was the resource officer who uh, ran into the building for the Springwater Trail High School shooting. When I was stationed at Barlow, I was involved in stopping uh, the formation of a school shooting. So, so we do keep very active tabs on what's happening in the community and it's helpful to have us there uh, to respond in a timely manner. Sí, yo tengo conocimiento de la situación en Reynolds y um, tengo um, conocimiento de otras situaciones donde pudo haber ocurrido una cosa muy violenta y la presencia de um, policías en la situación ha prevenido una cosa más seria. Okay, so thank you for participating in our thought exchange discussion. Remember, it will be open until December 14th. We will share your feedback and ratings with our school board and our team of administrators. And we now want to take some of your questions live. Gracias por participar en nuestra discusión de Thought Exchange. Recuerden que estará abierta hasta el 14 de diciembre y compartiremos sus comentarios y calificaciones con nuestro equipo de administradores. Ahora queremos tomar un poco de tiempo para responder algunas preguntas que puedan tener en vivo. Ok, so please place your questions in the Q&A section at the bottom of the screen. You can type them in. And we ask that individuals keep their questions respectful and on topic and please be mindful that this is a public forum. And if we do not get to all the questions tonight, we will share with you later how you can submit those questions later online for a prompt response. Um, recuerden que pueden poner sus preguntas en el QIA en la parte inferior de la pantalla. Les pedimos que usen lenguaje respetuoso y enfocado en el tema en sus preguntas. Por favor, tengan en cuenta que este es un foro público. Si no llegamos a responder a sus preguntas, compartiremos con ustedes cómo pueden hacer sus preguntas para recibir respuestas. Okay, let's take a look at some of the questions that we have. Um, it says, it seems that when you look at the numbers of, and it has a blank here, and the numbers of who was arrested, instead of looking at the color of their skin, why are we not talking about why they were arrested? Is it actually being said that they were all arrested unfairly? We brought officers onto our campuses because there was a danger. En vez de pensar solo en el color de la piel de las personas quienes fueron arrestadas, ¿por qué no estamos hablando sobre uh, los crímenes o las situaciones que han ocurrido? Trajimos a los uh, policías asignados a las escuelas a nuestros campuses para ayudar a mantener la seguridad. I'll give that a, um, a shot here. It's, we, we look at all data. Uh, that we can for this. It's comprehensive. Even just the thought exchange piece is going to give us millions of individual pieces of data to review. Um, I don't know that it's whether we should look at why they were arrested or the color of their skin necessarily. We should look at what's bringing us to that point and then how do we not get there in the future? Uh, nosotros miramos mucha data, mucha información, y no es solo que estamos pensando en cuál es el color de piel de las personas que fueron arrestadas, pero tenemos que considerar toda esa información y cómo hemos llegado a este punto y cómo cambiarlo en el futuro. In addition to that, the number of students arrested in our schools is actually very, very small. El número de estudiantes quienes son arrestados en nuestra escuela actualmente no es un número muy grande, es un número muy pequeño. John, John or John, can you quantify that small number? Um, mm -hmm. put that in. Yes. For the SRO unit, which is four officers, two at Gresham Barlow, one at Centennial, one at HB Lee uh, through the Reynolds School District, in more than four years, those four officers have arrested 14 youth out of the schools. And those have been for weapons possessions for guns, for uh, assaults, including sexual assaults, and for warrant arrests or because they were on probation and, the, and they were uh, had a warrant out. Those are, and we do have some demographics that I shared with the board before around uh, age and race and uh, all, all of those type of things. 
En los últimos cuatro años, um, los cuatro policías um, asignados a las escuelas, dos de los quienes trabajan en nuestro distrito y dos en otros distritos, han arrestado 14 estudiantes. Y en esos casos fueron situaciones de drogas o de tener unas armas o otro tipo de violencia um, de los estudiantes. John, uh, Lieutenant Rasmussen, do you know how many of those are actual Gresham Barlow students? Yes, I believe uh, nine total, and I can pull those up. Um, one from Gresham High School and uh, eight total arrests that went to juvenile detention hall from Barlow. One of them was a, a repeat and it was a probation uh, court issue. Um, the rest were because of firearms or uh, assault concerns. Creo que um, nueve fueron de nuestro, nuestro distrito. Uno fue del um, Gresham High School, ocho fueron de Sam Barlow High School. Thank you. Next question, Tina. Okay. Um, can we get a guarantee from leadership that all voices will not be treated equally? BIPOC, LGBTQ+, neuro neurodiverse, houseless, and immigrant voices must be louder. And student leaders and teachers must have more impact than building administration and parents. Nos I, pueden, podemos sorry. tener garantía de que todas las voces um, de estudiantes, de todos tipos de estudiantes, um, estén tratadas um, igualmente en este caso y que las voces de estudiantes y maestros tengan más poder que la de los administradores. Um, and, and I will say yes to that, as rec you recall from the opening statements that the final recommendations to our board um, and decisions for their decision will be based on the collected information at all of these sessions um, and by centering our students, our students' voices. So to me, that's very important. Um, and I understand why the community member has asked that question, because obviously the community and administrators will sometimes outnumber some of the student groups that we have. However, I want to hear those voices loud and clear. Um, quiero uh, repetir que definitivamente quiero tener los estudiantes en el centro de esta, de esta conversación. Y hay veces uh, los números de maestros o administradores o miembros en la comunidad es más grande que el número de estudiantes. Pero absolutamente queremos escuchar todas estas voces para poder tomar una decisión. Okay. Uh, one clarification real quick. It was actually seven students from uh, Barlow, not eight. Over the over more than four years. Um, clar para clarificar, eran siete estudiantes de Barlow, no ocho durante esos cuatro años. Thank you for that question. I think the next one. Uh, can the parents of marginalized children be invited to special targeted sessions? Um, I think we can. Uh, we can do that if we know exactly who they are. Um, but we do have students and families filling out information demographically, and so absolutely. Um, I'm more than happy to try to arrange something to our key communicators. Sería posible, la pregunta era si sería posible hacer unas sesiones um, específicas o especiales para ciertos grupos y um, la superintendente Pereira dijo que pensaba que algo así sería posible. Uh, Lisa, can we reach out to some of the um, culturally specific groups that we had for our SA, uh, Student Success Act groups? I, I was just thinking of that, <clears throat> that um, again, uh, SIA will be doing similar setups. So we have those in place. We've got our community partners that are um, specific uh, BIPOC, BIPOC populations that are, are willing and ready to help. Yes. Podemos colaborar con nuestros compañeros de la comunidad um, que son de organizaciones culturalmente específicas para organizar otras maneras de incluir las voces en nuestra comunidad. I also wanted to um, just share with the community that we do, I do have a student um, advisory council and they do represent and reflect the demographics of our school district. Um, and they are more than just high school students. They are middle school and high school students. And I certainly will be bringing this information to them as well for, for feedback and input. Karina? Hay un grupo de estudiantes, uh, formados de estudiantes de las escuelas medias y las secundarias, quienes incluyen estudiantes de, de todos tipos, de, de todas razas y de todos, um, de todos grupos. Y ellos también tendrán la oportunidad de dar sus opiniones um, acerca de este tema. Thank you, Karina. 
Athena? Are you going to publicly provide the self-identified data that people provided while filling out the survey? For example, what is the race of the people filling it out or the response patterns associated with each demographic? Va a ser pública la información acerca de eh, la data demográfica de las personas que han participado en el Thought Exchange. Por ejemplo, si ciertos grupos de personas han tenido ciertos tipos de respuestas. Yes, I, I think we can definitely do that in the end. Um, and just so the public knows that this is, you know, the, one of the first uh, points on our timeline. The final information will pre be presented to the board in February at their strategic planning meeting. So we have a series of, of uh, sessions from now until then. Um, and at the end, I'm definitely happy to present that information out. We have a preliminary presentation to our board on the 17th during their, rec their work session of this first round of uh, feedback. Sí, uh, cuando estamos uh, terminando el proceso, puedo compartir esta información. Uh, los primeros pasos son el 17 de diciembre, vamos a presentar parte de esta información para nuestra junta directiva y para el final de febrero vamos a tener um, la información para nuestra junta directiva para poder tomar una decisión. Okay, here is a comment. Even going through the statement from the questionnaire, it is obvious to myself and many that people of color and their voices have not been well represented in this survey. So I believe she is talking about the thought exchange discussion. Um, repasando los comentarios en el um, Thought Exchange, me parece obvio de que las voces de gente de color de nuestra comunidad no están bien representadas en esta actividad. As of this moment, and it changes and it will change through Monday, we're close to representative of our student population enrolled. Uh, but like I said, that's changing sometimes every hour, depending on how many people um, are participating, and we'll let you know that representation as well. Um, in este momento, mirando las personas que han participado, uh, parecen representar bastante bien um, la data demográfica de nuestra comunidad. Pero esto cambia todo el tiempo dependiendo a quién está poniendo sus comentarios. Y se, um, les aseguro que vamos a comunicar esa, esa información mientras que terminamos el proceso. Karina, I think you have the next question. I can't see it, so someone's going to have to show it to me. I am wondering if Cindy Flores, if she is available, if she could uh, let Karina know in English what the, the question is, or read it in Spanish, and then Karina can translate it into English. Sure. It says, si la encuesta cargada para empujar que se envió es un reflejo del sentimiento general, Entonces tenemos mucho trabajo por hacer. No había lugar donde dar crítica a la pregunta si tener la policía en nuestras escuelas están bien. ¿Quién sugirió y preparó esta encuesta? So the statement is that um, if the um, comments that I read are truly representative, then we do have a long ways to go. I didn't feel there was a real way to really um, express any difference of opinion or disagreement um, who prepared the question. The question was, um, uh, we gathered surveys from ac across the country as well as locally. Uh, our outreach to PPS to find out about their design happened as well. We also consulted with Thought Exchange, um, who is a crowdsourcing platform and experts in this work and ran the question by them. And they made recommendations based on questions used in other districts using the same, uh, using Thought Exchange for the same topic. So far, before we released the question, we ran it by those experts who um, thought that it passed their standards. Um, para elegir la pregunta, um, consultamos y miramos el tipo de proceso y las preguntas usadas con otros di distritos tratando este mismo tema. También hablamos con um, el personal asociado con la compañía de Thought Exchange para asegurar que esta, uh, este tipo de pregunta funcionaría bien para este proceso. Ok, um, the next question. I believe it's for Lieutenant Rasmussen, but I'm not sure. So here's the question. 
Why do kids need to interact with law enforcement, especially at that young of, of an age? How is this important to their learning and education? Shouldn't we be focusing on the connections they are building with teachers, counselors, and social workers? Uh, creo que la pregunta es para um, el representante de policía. ¿Por qué, es ¿Por qué es necesario que los estudiantes a esta edad tan joven tengan interacción con um, policías en las escuelas? ¿Qué tiene que ver eso con el aprendizaje? So SROs originally came in largely because of threats to schools, which we've only seen an uptick for um, as far as violence. And they um, quickly evolved beyond that into the education and mentorship. So we do do a lot of education and we do a lot of mentorship that is far different than what teachers and counselors um, have been able to provide. I can give you plenty of examples of counselors and DHS workers and teachers who have not been able to go to homes or interact with youth in the way that the SROs have uh, been able to do that and provide the specialized services um, to the families that the SROs have. Ultimately, I would love to live in a society where police were not needed at all. Um, and specifically not in schools, but starting at a very young age in elementary school, middle school, and high school, our SROs in, interact with all those kiddos. And um, we see positive effects by and large on the, on the outcomes of when they uh, go into the adults. Los policías asignados a las escuelas comenzaron por las razones de amenazas a las escuelas. Y esas amenazas han aumentado y no disminuido. Um, Y también los um, policías asignados a las escuelas pueden um, apoyar y um, ayudar a los estudiantes en maneras en las cuales los maestros y consejeros a veces no pueden, incluyendo visitas a los hogares. For, if I can give an example, um, I worked with the youth as an SRO who got in lots of trouble with the school. He was drug affected. Um, with friends and, and I had lost touch with him. I had not been an SRO for 10 years uh, when he showed up at my house. And when I asked him how he was doing, he became tearful and said he wasn't doing very well, but he didn't know where else to go. And that I had always been fair with him. And so he came to me. Uh, that is examples of what our SROs do. We just had another one with a Gresham Barlow uh, student involving with Officer Sasser, who had ran into him and thanked him for what he had done in his life. Tengo un ejemplo de un estudiante um, con quien yo trabajé cuando estaba en las escuelas como policía asignado. Y en ese momento ese, ese estudiante um, tenía muchas, muchos problemas con drogas. Perdí contacto con él y unos 10 años de, después, él vino a mi hogar um, y me pidió a mí por ayuda y me dijo que no sabía qué hacer, pero se acordó que yo siempre lo había tratado bien y con respeto. Eso es un ejemplo. Y hay otro ejemplo con el um, policía Sasser de una situación similar donde un estudiante lo buscó a él para agradecerle por el apoyo que le había dado. Ok, we're at 729. So I am going to um, share one more question. Do SROs explain what Miranda rights are in presentations like their drunk driving discussions or only when they are arresting someone? How do they make sure kids understand that they might implicate themselves in a crime? Um, vamos a hacer una última pregunta antes de que terminar esto. Um, la pregunta es si los um, policías explican los que, lo que son los derechos de Miranda um, durante situaciones generales o solo cuando están por arrestar a un estudiante. ¿Cómo les explican los estudiantes que hablando pueden implicarse en situaciones? Well, again, I'll, I'll speak to that. Uh, yes, we often do, not in every class situation, depending on what we're teaching. For example, if we teach in a law class or a social studies discussion, it has come up many times. And we'll talk with students in the hallways um, and give presentations or just have conversations about law, like Miranda, uh, whether they have to talk to police or not. It seems as though most students now know and they can recite those, but we go beyond that and explain line by line what that means. 
Um, sí, en muchas situaciones nosotros explicamos y enseñamos sobre, sobre los derechos de Miranda, especialmente cuando vamos a clases um, que tienen como tema la ley o historia social. En otras situaciones hablamos de esto con estudiantes más informalmente y muchos de los estudiantes ya conocen los derechos de Miranda, pero nosotros aseguramos que lo conozcan con más profundidad. We don't want any youth or any people for that matter to be caught off guard by a law or a rule. It's much better to be informed and to have willful compliance. And so we don't want to, we don't hide anything from them. We want them to be uh, thoughtful people and critical thinkers and understand. Um, nosotros no escondemos nada. Queremos asegurar que la gente tenga un buen entendimiento, comprendimiento de las leyes y las expectativas para así pueden tomar buenas decisiones informadas. Okay, Athena. we are now at 7.31. Athena, I would like for um, James and or Lieutenant Rasmussen to respond to that next question regarding the pay. And we do budget um, just as we do for anything else. And officers are paid um, according to their experience and contract levels. So if John and um, James can kind of speak to that question. I'm sorry, I didn't read the question. Athena, would you read that? And then Karina, sorry. Yeah, our, our memorandum of understanding with the, with the Gresham Police Department, the district pr provides 10 months of, of pay for the, the, uh, the two SROs uh, during uh, the academic school year. And so, um, you know, we, we pay what the, the going rate for the school resource officers um, for, again, um, 10 months out of, the, out of the year. John, you want to add anything else? Nosotros, yeah, I'll, I'll let Karina uh, uh, catch up here. Gracias. Nosotros um, pagamos el sueldo de 10 meses. 10 meses el sueldo de los policías que trabajan asignados a las escuelas en Gresham Barlow. So, yeah, I can give you actual cost numbers if that's helpful. Um, I believe that it's only nine months a year uh, that the actual pay covers, and it covers the 40 hour a week cost for that officer, um, and then it, the benefits to the city and stuff like that. What the school does not pay for is any case overtime, like if we have to go talk with a family, uh, they do pay for sports overtime. Um, they don't pay for any training costs. They don't pay for the sergeant of the unit uh, to be involved. They don't pay for my position to be involved. They don't pay for the other SROs coming to help out. Um, and they don't pay for the calls, uh, like at the horribly tragic uh, multi-fatal crash that involved two Gresham Barlow students. They don't get, they don't pay for the calls at nine, 10, one o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning that night. Uh, that we don't charge anything for. Um, they pay for a very specific portion and they get a lot. Um, los distritos uh, pagan el sueldo de que son 40 horas por semana um, durante esos nueve o diez meses. Lo que no pagan es el entrenamiento y no pagan um, el tiempo um, que ocurre después del día en situaciones que los, um, los policías asignados a las escuelas tienen que responder como en situaciones uh, muy difíciles como el, el accidente um, de autos que ocurrió um, hace un poco de tiempo con estudiantes del distrito. Ese, ese nivel de tiempo um, no lo paga el distrito. All right, so the Q&A portion of the town hall has concluded, but we know there were many questions that we didn't have time to get to. So I will switch slides. If you did not um, get your question answered, or if you have more questions now, tomorrow, the following day, we are here to answer those questions. Please go to our district website and look for the Let's Talk Contact Us tab in the right hand red corner, <laughs> the, right, the right corner of the red um, tab. And you can click on that and you can um, submit your questions for a prompt response from a district administrator. Um, la parte de preguntas y respuestas de ese ayuntamiento ya ha concluido, pero si no tuvimos tiempo de responder a su pregunta o si tiene preguntas adicionales, puedo enviarles um, por vía, 
enviarlos por vía de nuestro sistema de comunicación en línea, Let's Chat o Hablemos, para obtener una respuesta rápida de nuestro equipo. Visite el sitio de web de, del distrito, llega a clic en la pestaña Let's Talk, o Hablemos o Contáctenos, en la esquina inferior a la derecha de la pantalla donde se ve um, la parte roja y ahí puede entrar su pregunta o su comentario. Okay, and to close out the meeting, I would like to... Athena, if I can do one thing real quick. We are also available 24 hours a day for questions. Uh, SRO questions can go to me. They can go to Sergeant Gentry. But really, I want to encourage Gresham Barlow families to know their SRO and ask them questions directly. They are uh, very open to answering your questions. But if you want to contact me and have me answer specific things, I'm definitely open for that. También pueden comunicarle sus preguntas al sargento Rasmussen directamente o cualquiera de los policías um, asignados a las escuelas y preguntarles uh, cosas directamente en cualquier momento 24 horas al día. And now I'll turn it over to Superintendent Pereira to close out the meeting. Again, thank you, um, Athena, and thank you everyone on the panel as well as all of the attendees. Um, certainly it, tonight a uh, session and I appreciate you all taking time out of your schedule to be with us. Again, our goal tonight was to uh, specifically gather your input and feedback so that we can best evaluate and look for ways to improve um, our, our partnership with our school resource officers and to assess of whether or not what we're doing is uh, reinforcing systematic discrimination biases, disproportionality and misrepresenting uh, students of color, et cetera, in our schools. Um, Karina. Sí, um, les quiero agradecer a todos por haber venido esta noche. Sé que están todos muy ocupados. Lo importante es que escuchar sus voces y sus ideas um, acerca del programa de policías asignados a las escuelas para asegurar que no estamos desproporcionadamente um, arrestando o teniendo um, dificultades con estudiantes de colores o algunas situaciones así. Queremos escuchar sus voces. The final recommendations, again, uh, uh, this preliminary information as well as the, from the other sessions will uh, go to our board and it will be based again on the information collected tonight and all of our other sessions. Um, but I want to make sure that the community understands that the voices that will be centered will be those of our students. Uh, we will be presenting the preliminary feedback of this data uh, to our board on the um, 17th. Uh, and the final report again will be uh, delivered to them in February with an interim session as well in, in January. Tendremos, um, les damos un reporte inicial la semana que viene a la mesa directiva. El último reporte final será en febrero. Entre medio en enero también les daremos información y quiero asegurarles que queremos centrar las voces de nuestros estudiantes en tomar esa decisión. Again, thank you for your time and your efforts tonight and participation um, and definitely, most definitely your feedback. Les agradezco otra vez por su tiempo, por tomar el tiempo de estar con nosotros y por compartir sus ideas. Buenas noches. Buenas noches, sí. Bye.